Hello Riverdale, class of 2018. It's Richard from Zeus Comics. Betty hides a dead body. Jughead is complicit. Archie takes a bribe. A mob boss is revealed. The mayor's affair exposed. Hal loves a hooker. And Chick just smiles and smirks and cries and grimaces in every scene. Why, it must be a new Riverdale. Okay, okay, okay. The writer's editors for the Telltale Heart wanted to give us whiplash, as every character seen or shout out lasted a minute before bouncing to the next. It was Alice and Betty and Archie and Hal and Hiram and Jughead and Cheryl and back to Betty. So much happened. So here's what you need to know. So Chick killed his drug dealer during the delivery to the Cooper's house. Oops. We didn't see the kill, just the blood and the body and the aftermath as Alice and Betty worked to conceal the crime, taking the body to one of Alice's childhood secret hiding places, an old abandoned sewer pipe. Remember, hers was the heir before the bounce house. Betty, concerned about what they'd gotten into, you know, murder accomplices, uses the recent calls and texts from the dealer's phone to ascertain that he's a dealer, Chick's dealer, and then confronts Chick about it. Frustrated that this doesn't affect Chick, or Alice even, who's happy to have some semblance of family with Polly off with the twins at a cult, and Hal sleeping up Penelope Blossoms, Betty turns to Jughead. Jughead helps her by disposing of the dealer's car in the Sweetwater River, then calls his dad and FP to formally dispose of the body using sodium chloride. FP's rationale, he doesn't want Jughead, Alice, and Betty to make the same mistake he did in disposing of Jason Blossom's body by just tossing the river. You know, like they just did with the car and the dealer's phone. Speaking of FP, the Serpent's confrontation with the Lodges almost resolves itself when Veronica brokers a meeting between Hiram and FP. Hiram agrees to pay off all of the back rent on the Sunnyside trailer park, ending his foreclosure in exchange for peace. And for Jughead to back off on the expose he was writing on the Lodge's development deals for former city properties like Southside High and the drive-in. Personally, I thought it was a fair ask, but Jughead says, too far, and FP backs him up. And I was like, you're sacrificing the homes of everyone in the trailer park for your 17-year-old son's journalistic endeavors? But how did Hiram about the article? See, Jughead had tipped his hand on the article after he'd gone to the mayor's office early in the episode, revealing to her that he thought she'd taken lodge money as bribes for city land. I'm not sure what he wanted to get out of that meeting, but it backfired like every other Jughead plan ever. For real, with the Lodges and Mayor McCoy now at odds over potential bribery revelations, the Lodges realize their play should be to discredit Mayor McCoy with her motel lover, Sheriff Keller. So Veronica goes to Mayor McCoy armed with that info and a warning to resign and not take on the Lodges. When asked by Hiram about the Mayor McCoy's resignation, Veronica lies that she told the mayor anything. Speaking of lying liars and the liars who raised them, Hermione is very much involved in the family business. And just as I suspected that FBI agent Adams was not a real FBI agent, like the fat stack of cash he tried to give Archie in the early episode did not tip you off. When Agent Adams demands Archie plant a bug in Hiram's office, Archie breaks the bug and finally tells Hiram about the agent. But woo, I was getting nervous when the Lodge driver Andre picked up Archie and took him out to the woods, where Hermione reveals it was a test. Aha! She then welcomes Archie into the family. ruh -roh. Oh yeah. And Hal Cooper's been sleeping with Cheryl's mom, Penelope Blossom, who tells Cheryl their romance is real. Cheryl, of course, tells Betty, and Betty uses that info to get Hal out of the house during a shout-down with Chick. Anyone else draw the family tree of Grandpappy Blossom and Grandpappy Cooper, who is really a Blossom, and Hal's daughter, Polly, having twins with Penelope's son, Jason, and now Hal and Penelope dating? No? And up next, more kink on display, as Midge and Moose tease Kevin, and Archie, Veronica, Jughead, and Betty turn a cabin getaway into what looks like a swing and sex romp. Plus, will Sierra McCoy and Sheriff Keller's romance still come to light? It's a brand new Riverdale, the hills have eyes.